Acts 15, verse 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Now, that confuses a lot of people right there. Listen good to what I'm about to do. Listen good. Stay with me. I want everybody to stay with me. The word circumcised there. Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. The initial thought, the first thought is cutting of the penis, correct? That's true, but it's more than that. Hold that, Liam. Hold that. Listen good to what I'm about to say. Get me Ephesians 2 and 12. I just want this as a side note. This side note is going to help us understand when they said, except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses. This is hard stuff what I'm about to go through. That's why I was surprised when I went through it. I said, that stuff is hard to go through with the brothers. We need a recap. Go ahead. Ephesians 2 it. verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in the flesh. Go ahead. Who are called uncircumcision. We were called, listen good, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. We were called uncircumcision, A, because we were not circumcised in our flesh. B, is going to explain the next part. I'll get to the B in a second. Go ahead. By that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Why were the scribes and Pharisees called circumcision? A, because they were circumcised in the flesh in their penis, but B, who can help me with the B part? I want y'all to think now. Because you got a lot of people, listen good to what I'm about to say. You got a lot of people who are circumcised in their skin, their foreskin, but they don't keep no commandments. I just gave you a hint. I gave you a big hint. Okay, right here. No, 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 right there, purple. No, back, back. Yes, you. Uh, I'm about to say the brother with the purple shirt. That's a mistake. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, the circumcision dealing with um, uh, sacrifices and, um, right, sacrifices. Yes, yes. The circumcision did everything in the law stipulated, accumulating with the sacrifices. That's what they had to do. Everybody with me? So now, let's go back, Liam. Let's go back. Acts 15, verse 1. Listen good. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses. The key is after the manner of Moses. Did Moses institute circumcision? No. I see y'all hesitant. No. Find me the scripture where Christ spoke about circumcision. John 7, 22. Watch this. John 7, verse 22. Moses therefore gave you... So Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. Which father got the law of circumcision, brothers? Abraham. Abraham. So now when we go back to Acts 15 and 1, that's what I want y'all to see. Circumcision came from the time of Abraham. So what does Acts 15 is saying more than we think it's saying? Acts 15 and 1 more again. Acts 15 and 1. Ex and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses. Stop. See that after the manner of Moses, they're saying more than just cut your flesh. Meaning you have to deal with sacrifice. You have to deal with all the, the, the statues and substatues that pertain to it. Right, right. Like we read in Colossians 2. That was an issue. Like we read in Galatians 4.10. Everybody with me so far? You with me, Reuben? Okay, now, jump down to verse 5. Verse 5. But, but there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed, saying, that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. That's why it's more than just the cutting of flesh. Keep the law of Moses deals with those sacrifices. They're saying, you got, y'all got, in order to be saved, you have to do it. Watch, verse 1, one more again. Worth, one, and certain one. men... And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Is that what Christ said, brothers? Christ said, if you will enter into life, keep what? 
So now when we go back to Colossians 2, I just want to jump real quickly, Ruben. I'm not Ruben. Liam, Officer Liam, Colossians 2. I want the bottom precept of Colossians 2.18 where it says intruding. Colossians 2.18, intruding into those things which he have not seen. Right, God did not show them that salvation rested upon sacrifice. But that's what those men were saying. They said, except you be circumcised and follow the law of Moses, you can't be saved. So Paul said here, intruding into those things which he hath not seen. God never showed those men those things, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. And the key, in case you're still confused, look at verse 19. And not holding the head, meaning not holding Christ as the head. Who? I just give the answer. Who is our head, brothers? Christ. His sacrifice is what gets us into the kingdom. But they weren't holding Christ. And not holding the head from which all the body, meaning the body of Israel, by joints and bands, having nourishment, ministered and knit together, increases with the increase of God. The sacrifice of Christ is what did it. These scribes and Pharisees were trying to come back and say, no, it was the animal sacrifice that Moses gave us. Back to you, Officer Liam, Acts 15 and 5 again. Acts 15, 5. No, start at 1. I want 1 and 5 now. Verse 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Is that what the Bible said? No. Those men said that vainly puffed up in their flesh and mind. Why? Because the high priest taught them that. Because the Pharisees and scribes, that's the doctrine they were pushing. Is everybody with me so far? What verse you at, Leon? Verse 5. You finished it? Yes, sir. Jump down to 10. Verse 10. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? So what was the yoke our forefathers could not bear? Animal sacrifice. I'm going to show you why we couldn't bear it. Hold this, hold this, hold this. I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to show you the same thing. Give me Galatians 5 and 1. I'm giving you precepts to show you it's talking about the same thing. Gal All I want is verse 1, obviously, Leon. Galatians 5 and 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. So the liberty wherewith Christ made us free is talking about what, brothers? Christ dying on the cross, which is the what covenant? Which covenant? The new covenant. Read, Leon. And be not entangled and again. And be not entangled again. With the yoke of bondage. With the yoke of bondage. What is he talking about now, brothers? Animal sacrifice. He's saying, don't be entangled with that no more. Now I'm going to show you why. Go to um, Hebrews 10. Listen good, Officer Liam. Write to brothers, write this down. Sisters, write this down. We're going to read Hebrews 10, 9 through 11. 11 is the point we want. 11 is the point, but I just want to start at verse 9. Hebrews 10. Verse 9. This is why it's a yoke. This is why our fathers could not bear it. Come on. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. This is speaking about Christ. He taketh away the first. He taketh away the first covenant of Moses. That he may establish the second. The second, meaning the new covenant in Christ. Go ahead. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. See, once for all, here come. And every priest standeth daily ministering. We listen good. This is the point I want. This is why we could not bear it. This is why it's a yoke, the old covenant. Read it. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. Those sacrifices could never take away sins. Animal sacrifice could not do nothing for us. That's why Peter and Paul and them said that's a yoke of bondage. Don't bring them back to that. It cannot save us. Do y'all understand it? It cannot justify us. You got a, a lamb, a goat, and an ox. All that was temporary. It was never meant to give salvation. Does everybody understand? Hello, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. 
Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel or join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.